Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with the second video. And today's topic is gonna be chosen ones. People are gonna talk regardless. Okay, let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, chosen ones, people going to talk regardless. All right. I just got to make that abundantly clear. Okay. Let me make that abundantly clear. People are going to talk about you regardless. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much success you have. I don't care what you have accomplished. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you was. I don't care who you became. People going to talk, right? So just to go ahead and kind of accept that, drop in the comments and say people going to talk. I'm just going to be real with y'all. People are going to talk. Listen, family, before we get into this video, let me just give y'all a little bit of my accolades, okay? Let me give y'all a little bit of what I accomplished, right? I've worked with Keith Sweat, Tyler Perry. Um, I published four books, right? I have a, a t-shirt company, a media company, okay? Uh, I've accomplished so much things, y'all, that I have forgot. So many things that I have forgot. Um, I've had a number one record uh, all the way down south, number one, number one record. I've been on national television. Uh, I've been on radio multiple times, okay? I've done, I graduated with a bachelor's of arts degree. Listen, family, I tell y'all my story to let you know. And I, I've accomplished more things than that. But I'm just letting y'all know just some of the small things. Listen, family, people still talk about me. I don't care how much you accomplish. I don't care what you did in the past, okay? I don't care who you are. People are going to talk about you. And in this video, we're going to speak about why they're going to talk about you, all right? So, you know, for anybody who's feeling like, man, my family dislike me, my friends, they always got sleep things to say about me, you know, even in my uh, relationship, right, or the past relationship you had, my marriage, random people, whoever you are connected to, family, I just want to go ahead and be the barrier of good news. <laughs> people are going to talk about you regardless However, that means that, listen, whether they talk or not, you need to get it done, okay? And whether you do it or not, understand they still talking, okay? And so with that being said, family, we're going to go ahead and get directly into this video. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. Not only that, y'all. Y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's get into it, Chosen Ones. Number one, people are unsatisfiable. All right? Let me say it louder for my Chosen Ones in the back. Listen, family, people are unsatisfiable. All right? Which means they are like little babies, okay? Whenever you give them some milk, they spit that out. Now they want they pacify. Okay. After you give them the pacify. Oh, can't forget. They got to be burped. You got to burp their back. All right. After you burp their back. Okay. Now they want you to uh, give them a nap. All right. After you give them a nap, they wake up. Now they hungry again. And you repeat the same process over and over and over again. Okay. And that's the same thing with people. All right. Hey, you need to get a job. All right. You get a job. Hey, not that type of job. All right, cool. Then you get the job that they want you to have. Hey, you need to work more hours. Then you work more hours. Hey, you ain't working enough. I mean, it's like, it's so many things that go into it. People are unsatisfiable. All right. Y'all have to understand the eyes of men are never satisfied, which means people want more money. <laughs> as soon as they make a $10,000, how can I make 50? All right. You know, people want a better looking uh, woman. OK, he gets somebody who look uh, uh, like Cassie. Now he wants somebody who look like Beyonce. All right. She get a man with, you know, this amount of uh, power or status. All right. Now she wants like she got uh, somebody who was at the Jay-Z level. Now she want the president. Reno, what are you saying right now? People are unsatisfiable. All right. I don't care how much you have accomplished. I don't care how much you have done. All right. People are going to talk about you to the day you die. All right. And so oftentimes, y'all, people are stagnant. <laughs> people are stagnant. You know why? Because they're afraid. OK, they are afraid. I have a close friend, you know, who uh, wants to do social media, right? They want to uh, get on the camera, but they are afraid. I say, why are you afraid? I'm scared of what people going to say about me. They may notice my insecurities. And, you know, please, let me say this, y'all. You know, um, at the end of the day, 
it's gonna take time for them or whoever to step into you know their fears because fear is only pain leaving the body right and so it's gonna take time for them to step inside that and so i understand that it's gonna take some time right it is however you know you have to at some point defeat that feeling because it's only an emotion and y'all y'all know how much i preach don't allow your emotions to you know keep you trapped keep you confined to control you right because sometimes your own emotions is what's controlling you not them sometimes it's your own mind you know of what's controlling you not somebody else's mindset so don't allow your internal being or state of mind or state of emotion you know do all the controlling and so getting back to it y'all you have to understand that people are unsatisfiable y'all i was on the camera the other day somebody said reno you got tits <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know for me y'all i got thick skin it's really a it's really hard to make me feel bad i'm just gonna be honest right but you know uh to somebody else who uh is on this camera they may look at it and say man man they said I got tits, do I? They start second guessing themselves. Like, I just laugh at it. Like, <laughs> all right, cool. Because I have thick skin, y'all. I came up in a household of domestic violence. I came up in a household of what we did call each other names. You know, we always joked on each other. Um, even when I grew up, you know, in school, people were always calling me this. You so black, you blacker than an Oreo cookie. <laughs> that was their thing, right? And so... I kind of got used to being cracked on. Now, what a person could never say to me was I was ugly. Nobody ever called me ugly, right? I'm sure they probably have, but very rarely. The go-to was always, you black, you black, you black. And I got used to that, right? And so, when you start developing tough skin at a younger age, you start, you know, not caring about what people say to you, all right? Well, Rena, what does this have to do with anything? All I'm trying to remind you is people are unsatisfiable, okay? So, regardless, I don't care if you got all the money in the world. People going to say you're selfish, you're, you're rich and evil, okay? I don't care if you're broke. People going to say, oh, you know that boy, he don't got no job. Oh, that boy can't keep no job, right? They're going to talk about you then. So, whatever it is on your mind, you might as well do it. Why? Because people are unsatisfiable. You can't satisfy them, y'all. All right. Somebody drop in the comments and say, it's not my job. Yes, sir. It's not my job. Right. So what is, what is not your job? It is not your job to satisfy another grown being. It's just not y'all. It's not. OK. Uh, sorry for the long run on that job. But I had to just give you all a piece of my, a piece of my mind of how I felt about that. Right. But anyway, number two, they're looking for your mistakes. OK. They are looking for your mistakes. So let's talk about the family. You know, when you have done so many great things, when you have a clean reputation, you know, people are looking to defame your character, right? People are looking to discredit your name. People are looking to drag, you know, this image of uh, what you have in people's minds. They are looking to destroy that, right? Let's put some scribble scrabble on it, right? This is what they want to do. This is what you call erasing history. Somebody drop in the comments and say, you can't erase me. This is what you call erasing history. See, people want to erase the content that you have done. I'm not talking about digital content. I'm talking about content that you've done offline. All the people you helped. All the people you gave to. Okay? All the people you have uh, 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 helped and allowed them to reach the better version of themselves. Okay? You don't have to be a coach to do that. Right? Have, have a person ever called your phone and asked for advice? congratulations you just did that okay have a person ever asked you know hey you know how you feel about this they asked for your opinion congratulations you just helped somebody reach the better version of themselves okay now it's certain levels to it but if you help the person make a better decision in that split second congratulations this applies to you all i'm saying is y'all is that you know you have done so many great things to where now people are looking for your mistakes okay if you graduated college, all right, or if you graduated high school, okay, now they're looking for what you're not going to do, okay, if you have a great job, you're working for the government, you're working for yourself, okay, you're working a nine to five job that's paying you pretty well, well, now they're looking at what you're not doing. Everything is based and predicated upon what you don't have, what you're not doing, where you're not going, and who you are not. Okay, this is the image that they want to paint in other people's head. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? 
Okay, you got to understand something. They are looking for your mistakes. They're looking for you to fail. Uh, fail. Now, here's the funny thing, y'all. Here's the kicker. At some point, you will. <laughs> At some point, you're going to fail. Okay, but it says in the scriptures, y'all, that a righteous man fall down seven and may get up eight. Right. So you have to understand something as you fall down. It's not about you staying there. It's about you looking up, realizing that you can get up. Right. Oftentimes, people are waiting for, for that one time for you to fail, right? So let's just say, you know, you lost your place, you lost your car, whatever. Uh, you see, he couldn't keep up with the payments. Yeah, he, he, he couldn't pay for his apartment and his house. She couldn't do it. You seen that? They get a good old gag out of that. They just laugh, right? Make their stomach hurt. They just laugh, okay? Well, what they don't realize is that God is about to come around that corner and bless you with something better. <laughs> they don't realize that God is about to come around that corner and bless you with something better bigger okay understand something y'all he's gonna he's gonna bless you with peace okay bless you with love bless you with all the things that you have prayed for all right however they are looking for your mistakes they looking for it not realizing that god forgives okay and i understand this y'all you know humans have a hard time with our forgiving right and even if they do forgive, it is hard for us to forget because God created us with a memory, right? We have a memory so we can, you know, remember when a person done us wrong. We can remember the things of what people have said and we can remember how people have made us feel. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? So you have to kind of take that into consideration. But, you know, sticking to the point, y'all, people are looking for your mistakes. They can't wait for you to fail, right? And like I said, the kick is at some point in life, you will fail. But it's about you getting back up, all right? Listen, y'all, they going to talk regardless, okay? But here's the thing. <laughs> they won't be able to talk for so long, right? So, yeah. Uh, let's move on to the next one, family. Number three, you're persecuted just for trying, okay? You're persecuted just for trying, all right? And so what that simply means is, is that, you know, people talk about you, people persecute you, people ridicule you just for having the audacity to get up, Okay? Just for you having the audacity to get up and change your situation. To get up and say, I don't want the same life that I've been living. To get up and say, I don't want to deal with this spouse no more. To get up and say, I want better for myself. To get up and say, I want to open up a business. The audacity of you to want to write a book. Do y'all know what my family said when I wrote my first book? I had one family member who said, you should have told the family before you were reading the book. That's what one family member said. I mean, before you was writing your book and publishing your book, you should have told the family. Okay, that's what this one, uh, one person said. All right. The other person said, I mean, the punctuation is okay, but, you know, I don't really too much care for the message. Well, why is it that I sold uh, over 2,000 copies? Why is it that I sold over 2,000 copies and people were reading it too? Why is it? It's because the closest people to you are your biggest haters, right? Now, let me make this clear. It is an exception for some people, right? Like some people do have family who actually support them. I'm not mad at it. You, some people do got friends who actually love and support them. I'm not mad at it. Y'all ever heard of uh, Pinky Cole who got slutty vegan? Clearly she had friends and her husband support her. Okay, people who was close in her circle who actually support what she does. So listen, y'all, clearly it, it's possible. But what I'm saying is y'all, most times, those who are closest to you, they're not your biggest supporters. They're your biggest haters, okay? So understand that. And so oftentimes, they look at where you're going. They look at what you're doing. They're, look, they're looking at, you know, the courage that you have, right? Like I just spoke about in the last video, the courage that you have. And they just want to persecute you. The audacity of you wanting to start a t-shirt company, right? The audacity of you, okay? You got to understand that. People don't like the fact that you're just trying, all right, because they feel like I work, you know, on a job for the rest of my life. You know, I've actually worked, you know, on a job for 50 years, 40 years. I'm not happy, you know, and it, the list goes on. And here are you trying to break generational curses. Oh, you're going to get persecuted. Why you want to do all that? You don't got to be like them people over there. Yeah, not successful people are them people. They don't call them successful people. They call them them people. They're evil. They're this and they're that. No, I just want better for myself and better for my life. Can I do that? Okay, can I? All right. It's crazy, y'all. Moving on to the next one, family. Number four, control is not enough. 
Oh yeah, y'all, this is where we get a little deeper. Control is not enough. You know, y'all, a person can have an action figure, okay? You know, and move it how they want to move it, turn the legs how they want to turn the legs, and, you know, play with it, talk to it, sleep with it, wash it, whatever they want to do with it. You know, but at some point, they get mad, you know, for not being able to, to be the actual action figure, right? I mean, we've seen it with Toy uh, Toy Story. He just got mad because the toys wasn't even moving, <laughs> right? And so, um, oftentimes, y'all, people operate like this. Like, you know, control is not enough anymore. You know, people want to be you, right? You know, it, it go from people wanting to control you to people wanting to own you to people saying, you know what? I just want to be you. I just want to be in your skin. I just want to use your hands. I just want to trade my feet for your feet, trade my body for your body. You know, I just want to do it like that, right? And so you have to understand, you know, people start getting sick, honestly, mentally, because control is not enough anymore. See, at first it was cool because they can manipulate your mind and pull the strings and you know move the pieces around yeah that was cool but now they're like nah i don't want that no more i want to be you right yeah control is not enough no more i want to be you i want your life okay i don't care if i have more than you i don't care if i got more money than you i don't care what i have i, I want your life your character hold more weight okay your personality hold more weight who you are as an individual is way more appealing than my things. I heard Will Smith say on the podcast that you get to a point, and this is why I love hearing uh, uh, rich and wealthy people speak about money because we need it. Don't get me wrong, y'all. We need it, okay, to live financially free and to just enjoy life, to travel. We do need money. Don't let nobody, you know, lie to you. We need it. However, I love hearing people like Will Smith. He said, uh, when you get to a point in life, you begin to realize it ain't nothing in life that you can buy, right, that can make you happy, okay? You get the boat, you get the girl, you get the kids, you get the family, you get the husband, okay? That happiness has to stem from on the inside, okay? That happiness has to stem from on the inside, all right? Again, once you get to a point in life financially, you can buy any and everything on the planet. This is why you see people like Elon Musk, you know, uh, want to take a trip to the, the space with him in it. <laughs> like he don't even, like he's he's at a point, y'all, to where he wants to buy stupid stuff. You run out of things to buy. All right. Reno, what are you saying right now? You know, money does not make you happy, but it does contribute to your happiness. Okay. Um uh, I forgot how I actually got on that point, y'all. But getting back to it, control is not enough, okay? Control is not enough. And now I got it, y'all. What I was saying was is that um, the people, you know, who now don't want to control you anymore, it's because they're not actually happy. Like I said, they can have way more money than you, everything, y'all. But see, with yourself, you know, you're just, you, you rich in spirit, okay? You're rich in your mind. They are unhappy family, okay? You know, people get to a point where they just want to, they done bought everything, right? Or they've done everything that they can do, okay? They want people who are happy, who have good spirits, good souls. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? Okay? But anyway, moving on to the next one, y'all. It's going to be, which is the last one. It's going to be number five. And that is, their life is miserable, okay? Great segue. Great segue. Man, I'm getting good at this. Their life is miserable, Okay, you have to understand something, y'all. People get to a, a, a phase in life, y'all, to where they just pure up miserable. I'm talking about pure, straight up miserable. Okay, I don't care if that don't make sense. They miserable, y'all. All right, and you have to understand that misery loves company. Okay, misery loves company. And so with that being said, y'all, oh yeah, that you can expect for people to try to pull you into that miserable world. You can expect for people to try to, you know, talk you into that miserable world. All right. And some people will have the audacity to try to paint it up as if it's better than what it is. Right. And as soon as you get into that world, they're going to show you why you should not have came. 
okay? But the whole point of this message is chosen ones. People are going to talk regardless. They will talk about you to the day you die. I don't care if you're doing good deeds. I don't care if you're doing bad deeds. I don't care if you're healthy. I don't care if you're sick. Guess what? If you're healthy, they're going to be hating on you, okay? He got lucky. He just got good genes. Well, guess what? If you're sick, he shouldn't have been smoking cigarettes. He shouldn't have been drinking. That's why he got that uh, cirrhosis to the liver. Y'all following what I'm saying, y'all? People are miserable. And I want to say this too, y'all. You know, um, poor people talk about people. Okay, rich people talk about things. Wealthy people talk about ideas. Ideas, okay? Let me say it once again, y'all. I just dropped the gym, okay? Yeah, we're going to drop gems too, y'all. Uh, poor people talk about people. Okay, these are your people who are on the the uh, the corner talking about Rob Roger Ray Ray them. Yep, yep. You know, rich people talk about things. Ah oh, man, I just got a new jet. Ah oh, man, you know we about to go to this event. Ah oh, man, you know I'm about to travel. Rich people, right? They're talking about things, but wealthy people talk about ideas, right? The new T-shirt company. Okay, the new battery that charges itself. Okay, the Teslas, like just ideas. Okay. That's what wealthy people talk about. So there's a major difference in the caliber of people that you are around or associated with. Understand something, y'all. Their life is miserable. Okay, so they have no choice and no other option but to talk about people like yourself or just talk about people. Just very obsessed with other individuals' lives. Very obsessed. Somebody drop in the comments and say, don't be obsessed with me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, don't be obsessed with me with me okay but with that being said y'all we're gonna go ahead and do this recap and then we'll conclude this video so chosen ones people gonna talk regardless okay you gotta understand that number one people are unsatisfiable all right they like little babies number two they're looking for your mistakes you gotta understand something family they are looking for the flaw period number three you're persecuted just for trying all right just because you say you know i think i have the courage to have a different result than what you got right they take that as an insult understand uh number four uh control is not enough you know at some point y'all people get past the point of i can control you at some point y'all people want to start being you okay and number five their life is miserable okay they hate their miserable life and misery loves company all right if that made sense y'all drop in the comments and let me know but with that being said y'all if you would like to purchase any one of these t-shirts um book a one-on-one -on -one session with me you know enroll into my social influence course or purchase any one of these books y'all be sure to hit the link in my description as well as in the comments i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video y'all keep a rich mentality peace What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality